You're watching the Huawei Nova 8 disassembly. If you guys need any tools, there are links in the description. Let's start off by removing the SIM tray. Next, you're gonna have to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to heat up the back plate so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then you're gonna use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's your glass back plate. There's no flex to it. There are some foam padding over here, as well as some graphite film here. Now taking a look at the inside, we have a graphite sheet over here, as well as one over here, which we need to peel off. They use some strong glue or adhesive over here. There are 20 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now once all the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the top cover. So here's the top cover. You have your NFC antenna located right here. You have some graphite film over here which sits on top of the battery. Your LED flash is located here. Taking a look at the back, you have your LED flash board located right here, as well as the flex cable for the NFC antenna right here with the two contacts here. And you have one over here on the side with the contact right there. All right, so we've got two battery connectors on this guy, which we need to disconnect. So one is located on the left side and one on the right. Once those are disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. There are two wire cables here in the corner. Just pop them off. and we can disconnect the front facing camera and remove it. Let's remove this plastic bracket over here, surrounding your cameras. Let's go ahead and disconnect these two cameras on top. Now at this point, we can lift up and remove the main board. So on the front of the motherboard, you have a secondary microphone located here on top. Once we remove that removable shield, you can see the chips underneath. Now taking a look at the back, you have your SIM reader located right here, as well as some thermal paste over here on top of this shield. And you also have a shield over here covering the connectors for your other two cameras. Once those shields are removed, you can see the processor and RAM, also some thermal paste over here on the inside. And you can see the connectors over here for your other two cameras. And those disconnect the same way as the other cameras. All you have to do is just pop them off. All right, back to the mid frame. Let's remove this camera over here. Also, this camera over here does have OIS, or optical image stabilization. All right, now let's go ahead and remove the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at that. You do have a mesh filter over the speaker opening. Let's disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. And we'll have one more flex cable over here. You also have two wire cables that need to be disconnected. Just pop them off. Now we can lift up and remove the charger port board. So you do have a rubber gasket around the charger port itself. You have your primary microphone located right here. And there's a look at the other side. So the flex cable for your fingerprint reader is actually connected to an extension cable. So this one is an extension cable right here. And lift it up. You can see it's connected to another cable underneath it. Now we can use the provided pull tabs to pry off the battery.
So here's a better look at the battery. You can see it has two flex cables over here for it. And it doesn't seem to be two separate batteries put together as one. Since there's no separation in the middle separating it, so it's one piece. But there is two flex cables. So I'm assuming that's what they use to get that 66 watt super fast charging. Here's a look at the back. Back to the mid frame, you have your vibrator motor located over here on the bottom corner. You have this flex cable over here which connects your main board to your subboard on the bottom. Your screen cable is located over here and it's run through this opening in the mid frame. So if you ever had to replace your screen, you'd have to take the back plate off, remove the top cover, so you'd gain access to your main board and then you would disconnect this flex cable over here from your main board. And then you'd have to remove the battery. So you can have access to running the cable through this opening over here in the mid frame and you'd heat up the front of your phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath and you'd pry your screen off the mid frame. Get your new screen, reapply it to the mid frame making sure you run your cable back to that opening and then you'd reassemble your phone. You also have your proximity sensor board located over here on top. Your earpiece speaker is located here. And there's no special type of cooling on this phone. Just some thermal paste and some graphite film as well as that 3D graphene film which sits over the battery and a portion of the motherboard. And you also have your flex cable over here for your volume key and power button. All right, now it's time to put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip your phone over, power it on, and you're done. As far as repairability goes, I'd give this a 6.5 out of 10. The adhesive to remove the back plate is pretty strong, as well as the different sized screws make it somewhat of a more difficult phone to take apart. However, the battery does have pull tabs, making that easier to pry off compared to batteries which don't come with pull tabs. And most of the parts internally are replaceable. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. I'll see you guys in the next video.